Hello there and welcome to another video. So today I would like to look at preparing for landing, which is something we haven't covered yet. So as you can see, I've written a few things on the board and I want to take a minute or a few seconds anyway for you to look at and see what you think the words should be in the blank. So let's look at the first one. Can you open the window something, please? What do you think goes in there? Can you think? Well, think about when you go on a plane. Can you remember what the cabin crew person would say to you? First one, blind. Can you open the window blind, please? Because you're coming in for landing and as you should know, all the window blinds need to be open. Next one. I can't find my something form. Again, what would you think that would be? Think about when you're flying into another country, what do you normally need? Got it? Immigration form. Now, if a passenger said to you, I can't find my immigration form, what would you say as a cabin crew member? I'll bring you one in a few minutes. Now, something else you would say as you're coming into land or preparing for landing. Put your bags under the seat where? in front of you. And a question you may get asked by a passenger. Um, do you know how long it to get from the airport to the city? Very easy. Do you know how long it will take? to get from the airport to the city. And let's look at a few more things. Um, a question that you may get asked as a cabin crew member as well is, what time Does the flight land? Of course that will vary, but you could say something to the effect of it lands at and choose a time. Now, we say it because the flight the plane is not a person, it's an it. So we say it lands at, say, 10.15. It's a time you can say. Something else you may get asked as well is how long will it take to get to the domestic terminal? And of course, this could be a question on an international flight. An international passenger might want to go to a domestic terminal to travel domestically within whichever country you arrive in. And again, you can say something, oh, sir, madam, it should take about, and by then you should know how many minutes, but you can say, um, sir, it may take... about ooh, 45 minutes. Something else you can explain is that they may have to take um, a train, you know, the trains that run around the airport, or they may have to take a bus 
depending on which um, airport you land in. Another question you get may get asked is, how long is the flight? That is the flight you are currently on. Um, although it says on the ticket, someone might just come out and ask you anyway, how long is the flight? In which case you can go anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour to 12 hours. So you can say um, the flight, you can say something like about two hours. Oh, you can, it's best to say about, because by the time you do the taxi, the takeoff, the landing, the taxi, you have all that to take into consideration. So it'd be safe enough to say about. Now let's look at the end situation for you as cabin crew. You have questions like, have you done all the checks? Have you done all the checks? Now by that they mean, you know, making sure that all the window blinds are up, the passengers' seats are up, the trays are back in the normal places, that kind of thing. All the safety checks. What else do we have? And then you can say, yes, I've completed all the checks. Or if you haven't, then obviously you'd say, no, I haven't. completed all the checks, but I will. Um, have you done all the clearing in? Again, that means, you know, collecting headphones, rubbish, uh, maybe even blankets and other things that have been given out to the passengers when they first boarded. And you can say, um, yes, I have or no, I haven't. Yes, I have or no, I haven't. Um, and then you also might get asked, well especially if there's a bar on board, which obviously there always is, but uh, you might want to check has she finished the, or have you finished the bar paperwork? And again, you can say, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Now, all of these things will depend on where you are assigned in the cabin, in the crew, sorry. It depends where you will be assigned in the cabin and there are things that needs to be done at the end of each flight so these are just some ideas as always um they're not you know meant to be set in stone they're just some ideas to help you so um as always i hope the video helps and if you have any ideas for other videos please leave a comment in some of the comments and i'll see what i can do for you okay so nice to see you again take care